Hey guys, today on Aiden's World, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom music to Space Engineers. So right now we have one of the default songs playing in our jukebox, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add any song or sound effect you want to this sound list. Let's get started. So now I'm going to be showing you how to add the music and sound effects into the game. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download this file right here, which allows us to convert the wave to a format that Space Engineers can read, which is this XWM format. Now that you've downloaded that file, you're going to need some songs or sound effects you would like to put into the game. So we have these two tracks right here. So now what you're going to need to do is convert these files to the WAV format. So this file right here is um, an MP3 format as you can see right here. So what you're going to need to do to convert those is use a free program like Audacity and just drag and drop your files in here. There we go. So now what you're gonna need to do, if it's only a single file, you're going to just need to go under export and export as wave right here. But since we have multiple of them, we're going to export multiple right here. And then we're gonna select the wave format and click export. All right, so now that that's done, we'll minimize that. And our two wave files should be right here. So the next step in the process is to take both of these files one by one and convert them using this converter program. So there is a little text document that they provide here that has some information on how to use it. So you're going to just need to copy this line right here and then close that. So now we're going to rename one of our files to one.wave and then open command.exe. So the next thing you're going to need to do is paste that thing we just copied into this program. And then press enter. Now that it's done that, we can close the program and then we should find our file which is called mus underscore main theme. This is our XWM file, so you can rename this to whatever you want or even what the original file name was. So in our case that will be Comet Observatory Remix. So we're going to do the same thing for this other file we have right here. The one thing to note for these files is that you can use spaces in their name so you don't have to just use underscores or um, dashes to separate your, the words in the title. So you can actually use spaces and the game will still read it just fine. When you convert them from WAVE to this XWM format, they do lose a bit of quality as I will show you in this next clip. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go right over here to the directory shown on screen now. And then go under Space Engineers, Content, Audio, MUS, and then you're going to see a bunch of folders right here. But what you're going to need to do is create a new folder called MUS CUS. That will be for our music, custom music folder so that we can put our files in there and then the game will be able to find them. So now we're going to drag them in here. 
now that they're in there, we're going to move on to the next step. The next thing you're going to need to do is come back out to the content folder and then double click on data. You're going to need to change these files here. So you're going to need to uh, change the audio music file. And then you're also going to need to change the sound categories file. So the reason why I'm copying them to this folder is so that I can have easy access and easily be able to copy them back into this folder without having to find them again. So now let's minimize that and then I would recommend you guys to make a backup of these so just make a folder called backup and then copy these in here just in case. The next thing you're going to need to do is double click on this file called audio music. It should open in notepad if you're using windows. And you can also use Notepad++ if you like. Now we're going to search for MUSFUN right here. So now it's going, it should be under the special category right here indicated by this. Now what you're going to want to do is copy this. Go right to the end of sound right there and press enter twice and then paste it back in. So it doesn't matter if the sound thing is not aligned with this one, it'll still work just fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this right here, the MUS Fun uh, music category to MUS CUS for our custom music. There's one thing I forgot to mention, which is to change this MUS fun directory right here before your file to be the MUS CUS like that. Because if you have it any other directory, it's going to try to search for the file there and not play. So be sure to keep that in mind when adding your custom audio files. And then you're going to need to uh, change the, the file that you're going to play right here, which is this default one, to the custom one that you want. So we already have a copy right here. So we'll just rename this to the um, Observatory Remix. And then we'll just paste it right here where the old one was. Then you're going to go up here to this sub type ID and change the MUS fun to a title that you can remember. So if you leave it as MUS fun, it's going to conflict with any other songs that have the same subtype ID. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and name this something that's related to the title, like Something like that. Now that you've done that, it should know that this is a different song from this one. So it should work in the game. Now that you've done that, just repeat the same process over and over by copying and pasting right here like we did before. Just this time, copy the one you just edited. And then you can do it as many times as you want to add sound effects or custom music into the game. When you're done adding your songs, just go ahead and press save, but don't close that file just yet. The next thing you're going to need to do is open the soundcategory.spc. So now you're going to scroll all the way down here and you're going to find this last file. So whatever it may, it may be, just copy that and then press enter at the end of it right here to make a new line and then paste. So you can add some space to line it up with the other files if you'd like, but it'll work the same. But either way, it'll work the same. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to replace this sound ID right here. So you're going to go to that file we just edited, and then you're going to copy the IDs you made for your song. 
you're going to copy it like that. And then paste it in like so. And you're also going to need to copy the name of the song too. So that it can find the song you're looking for. So then you're just going to keep doing that over and over for as many soundtracks as you have. Alright, so now that we've done that, make sure that your sound IDs right here are, are unique because if they're exactly the same, then the game will get confused and not know which one to play and just play a random one. So make sure that all of your IDs are different from each other just like the way they are up here with the rest of the original game soundtracks. So now for the final step, you're going to copy these two files into the directory where you originally found them, which is your Space Engineers folder, content, and then data right here. So you're going to just paste them in, and then you're just going to replace the files in the destination, and then we'll just minimize these. So now let's try out our music. Oh right guys, so here we are back in the game. Now let's try out if our music works. So what you're going to do is you're going to press K on your jukebox display. Or if you're trying to configure one of those speakers, just enter one of the terminals. So now you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. And you're going to scroll to the bottom of your sounds list and here is our custom song. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove these two sounds from our jukebox and add our new songs here. So if you did everything correctly, they should play. So now let's try them out. Yeah, so this one seems to be working just fine. So now let's try out our other one. Let's move on to the next track and play this one. So for some reason the game does muffle the sound of the songs and sound effects a little bit but still it is overall still really cool to add your own custom music into the game and not replace any of the original songs. Alright guys so that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you for watching, click subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll never miss out on another video on Aided's World. And if you would like to check out how to add custom music to other games like Scrap Mechanic, Subnautica, and Minecraft, I will leave a link to our tutorials playlist in the description below. But anyway guys, we will see you next time on Aiden's World.